Hey everyone, welcome back to Code with Row. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to get through these doorway collisions, even if your character is supposed to fit, but for some reason it's just not letting your character go through. And let's get started. So the first thing you're going to want to do is head over to that mesh. So I'll just click on the mesh and I'll double click it here in the details tab to open this up. Now in the static mesh editor, look for the collision section in the editor. And if the mesh has simple collision, such as a bounding box or a capsule that doesn't account for the doorway, you'll need to adjust it. So what I'm going to do is go over to this tab that says collision, click remove collision. And now if I save it and try, it's going to let me just walk through it, but we don't want that completely because it does look a little odd. If my character is just able to clip through this doorway. So I'm just going to want to add collision to the parts around my character right now. So basically just this round part and make sure there's no collision there and everywhere else is fine. So what we can do is go back to this collision tab and add a box simplified collision. And we can just adjust this to the shape of the box. So for example, I'm just going to add one here. Let me turn off snapping and I can just manually place these boxes just around just one at a time like this and make it a very simplified collision. Or another thing I could do is I'll go ahead and remove these. And then I'll also, I'll add a auto convex collusion and I'll do something like a hull count of 10 and max hull vertices will be 32. And if I hit apply, you'll see that it'll show the collisions like so. And it's not a hundred percent because you can see some of the lines here, but it is close enough. And if I, if I hit control and save and click play on my scene, I'm still able to go through. And if I jump, I won't be able to go through the walls. And there's a very slim way of me actually getting through. So still works, but yeah, actually this is exactly what I wanted. And yeah, that's pretty much how you set up your door to be able to walk through. Thanks for watching Code with Row. Like, subscribe, comment below what you want to see next, and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.